Hello, beloved brothers and sisters. May the peace of the Lord be with you. It is with great joy and gratitude that I invite you to another blessed meeting, full of divine presence. Today, we will delve into the word of the Lord together, and before we begin this spiritual journey, I would like to warmly welcome you in the name of our loving God. Psalm 30, attributed to King David, emerges as a magnificent ode of exaltation and gratitude to God, revealing the psalmist's emotional and spiritual journey in the face of life's vicissitudes. This song shines with a vivid expression of triumph over adversity and is a fervent testimony of divine faithfulness. Composed in a moment of profound recognition of divine intervention in the psalmist's life, the sublime poetry of this psalm resonates through the centuries, touching the hearts of those seeking comfort, healing and redemption. Psalm 30 begins with a solemn proclamation, where the psalmist commits himself to exalt the Lord, moved by gratitude for having been lifted from the depths of affliction. This act of praise is not only a reflection of the psalmist's personal joy, but also a bold declaration of faith in the transcendence of the divine over the adverse forces of life. The psalmist's promise not to allow enemies to revel in defeat resonates as an affirmation of confidence in divine protection and the supremacy of heavenly power over earthly hostilities. The narrative of Psalm 30 unfolds as an emotional testimony, highlighting the intensity of the relationship between the psalmist and God. Verse 2 highlights a cry for help, a humble supplication that finds an echo in the divine response. The psalmist recognizes God's providential healing, attributing to him the ability to restore and renew life. The symbolic image of being taken from the grave and returned to life is a powerful metaphor for redemption and spiritual renewal. The artistic expression of Psalm 30 reaches its peak in the celebration of divine love and mercy. The contrast between God's momentary wrath and the lasting joy He provides is articulated poetically. The analogy of night weeping and morning joy conveys the idea that while sadness may be an inevitable part of the human journey, the joy that comes from God's presence is eternal and transcends temporal circumstances. The second half of Psalm 30 reveals the psalmist's vulnerability to human emotions. The psalmist's initial apparent security is followed by a moment of fear and supplication, reinforcing the continued dependence on the divine. The transformation of weeping into dance, the change from the garments of lament to the garments of joy, symbolizes the spiritual metamorphosis that occurs when divine grace touches human life. In conclusion, Psalm 30 is an eloquent hymn of praise and gratitude, a poetic masterpiece that transcends temporal barriers and resonates in hearts thirsty for hope and redemption. Its rich imagery, emotional depth, and commitment to faith offer a timeless source of inspiration for all who face the ups and downs of human existence. This psalm, rooted in David's experience, continues to be a heartfelt expression of the search for divine presence amidst life's complexities. Let's now reflect on Psalm 30, and then we will pray our Father Amen. I will exalt you, Lord, because you raised me up, and you did not let my enemies have fun at my expense. Lord my God, I cried out to you for help, and you healed me. Lord, you brought me out of the grave, about to go down into the pit. You gave me back to life. Sing praises to the Lord. You who love Him. Celebrate His holy name. For His anger only lasts for a moment. But His favor lasts for life. The crying may persist for a night. But in the morning joy breaks out. When I felt safe, He said. I will never be shaken. Lord, with Your grace. You gave me firmness. And you established me as a strong mountain. I hid my face again. And I was terrified. To you, Lord, I cried. I asked the Lord for mercy. What advantage is there in my death? 
in my grave. Will the dust praise you? Hear, Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my help. You turned my crying into dancing. You took my clothes off in regret. And you clothed me with joy. So that my heart. Sing praises to you and do not be silent. Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Beloved Heavenly Father, God of mercy and unconditional love, I humbly enter your presence to raise a fervent prayer in favor of each of your children who are here, united in communion and faith. We recognize, O God, that you are the sovereign Lord over all things, and we place our trust and hope in you. In your name, Lord, we seek your blessings upon each life represented here. May your grace, which surpasses all understanding, reach those who are facing seemingly insurmountable difficulties, sorrows, and challenges. We ask, Father, that you intervene in situations that seem destined for failure, transforming them into triumphs that glorify your name. Lord, we recognize that in your divine wisdom, you are able to transform what was designed to go wrong into something that goes right. Shed your light on the dark and uncertain paths, illuminating the path of those who feel lost and helpless. May your presence be a safe refuge for the afflicted and a strength for those who find themselves in the midst of the storms of life. Bless, O oh God, each subscriber to this channel, knowing the individual needs of their hearts. Console the sad, lift up the downcast and restore what was lost. Sustain, Father, those who find themselves in moments of fragility and despair, offering them your divine strength to overcome challenges. For those who are at rock bottom, I pray that your divine light shines brightly, guiding them out of the darkness and leading them into the peace that passes all understanding. Strengthen the faith of those who face seemingly unresolvable situations, showing them that in you, nothing is impossible. Lord, we know that many of your children have faced emotional deserts, and in the midst of these trials, grant them the certainty of your constant presence. May they experience the joy that comes from unshakable trust in you, even in the face of adversity. Pour out your compassion on those who have been helped by others and now find themselves sad and abandoned. May they know that your faithfulness is incomparable and that you, O oh God, will never abandon them. May the light of your truth chase away the darkness of hopelessness and surround them with the certainty of your eternal love. Comfort, Heavenly Father, those who face abandonment and loneliness, renewing hope and joy in their hearts. May your presence be a constant companion in their lives, bringing refreshment to tired souls. In the midst of the prayers raised here, we recognize that the light of faith often disturbs those who live in darkness. We therefore encourage each brother and sister to remain firm in their trust in you, even in the face of adversity. May the strength of faith be an intense light, illuminating hearts and dispelling the darkness that tries to prevail. Trusting in your promise, Lord, we urge everyone to firm their faith in God, to trust fully in your divine plan. For, as the scriptures assure us, those who trust in you will not be put to shame, and you, O God, will act according to your sovereign will. May this prayer, Lord, serve as a testimony of our trust in you and the certainty that, even in the most difficult times, you are God, compassionate and powerful. May the peace that surpasses all understanding envelop every heart present here, and may your abundant grace continue to transform lives for the glory of your holy name. Dear God, Heavenly Father and Sovereign Lord, we enter your presence with hearts filled with gratitude for your unfathomable grace and incomparable love. We thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only Son to save us, providing us with the opportunity for redemption and reconciliation with you. Lord, we recognize the importance of our part in seeking you in prayer and worship, and today, gathered in this chain of faith, we raise our petitions before your throne of mercy. Bless, O oh God, each one who is here, eager to carry out projects such as building a house, 
finding a decent job or obtaining a means of transport. May you, in your infinite wisdom, direct their steps, opening doors that no one can close and granting them success in their endeavors. May each project be a tangible manifestation of your faithfulness and kindness. Pour, Lord, abundant blessings on all those subscribed to this channel. May every word shared, every moment of worship and teaching, be a source of inspiration and spiritual growth for those who seek to know you more deeply. May your presence be tangible in their lives, filling them with peace and joy that come only from you. Lord, look with compassion on those facing illness and disease. In your sovereignty, touch each sick body with the healing power of your divine hands. Grant strength to the weak, comfort to the afflicted, and restoration to those who are weakened. May health and well-being manifest abundantly in their lives, testifying to your constant care. Regarding those who face persecution and adversity, we ask for your protection and divine intervention. May the light of your truth dispel the darkness, and may justice prevail over any form of opposition. Lord, keep your children from humiliation and raise a banner of honor over them. May your grace surround them like a shield, defending them against all evil. At this moment, we also turn to you in favor of the destitute, those on the streets and those who suffer from the lack of food and shelter. In your mercy, Lord, extend your mighty hand to provide, guide and restore. May generosity and compassion manifest abundantly in the lives of those who have the resources to help, so that sharing is a tangible expression of your love for those in need. Lord, we believe in your faithfulness and your promise that as we sow, we will reap. Thus, we trust that what is being sown today will bear fruits of blessing and prosperity in due time. We renew our trust in you, recognizing that you are faithful to fulfill your promises. O God of unparalleled goodness and faithfulness, we humbly approach you with hearts overflowing with gratitude and trust. We know, Lord, that your faithfulness is unshakable, and we place our faith in you, certain that you do not fail and that, at the right time, your blessings will pour out upon us. Confident in your promise that we will reap what we sow, we lift our eyes to the future with hope, recognizing that your benevolence will manifest itself in every area of our lives. We believe, Heavenly Father, that you are the author of our sentimental, financial, health and family life, and we place each of these spheres in your sovereign hands. In sentimental life, Lord, we ask for your guidance and blessing on each relationship. May your wisdom guide our choices and may the love that comes from you permeate every aspect of our emotional bonds. May relationships be strengthened by your grace, promoting union, understanding, and mutual joy. In the financial sphere, we trust in your divine provision. Pour, Lord, your abundance on every project, enterprise, and source of sustenance. May the prosperity that comes from you be a clear manifestation of your care and generosity towards us. Enable us, O oh God, to be good stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us. Regarding health, we beg for your powerful intervention. Touch, Lord, the sick bodies with your divine healing, restoring the fullness of health. Comfort the afflicted, strengthen the weak, and renew the strength of those who face physical challenges. May your restorative presence be present in every situation of precarious health. In the family sphere, we seek your blessing and protection. Bless each member of our family, strengthening bonds of love, respect and understanding. May your peace reign in our homes, and that, even in the face of challenges, we can be examples of faith, forgiveness and solidarity. Lord, we recognize that many of your children have gone through adversity and trials, but, through your grace, they have remained firm and strong. At this time, we ask that your strength continues to sustain those who have gone through intense struggles. May the perseverance that comes from you be an inspiration to all of us, showing us that, with God, 
we are more than conquerors. Our trust is in you, Lord Jesus, and we know that you are capable of transforming challenging situations into glorious triumphs. Bless everyone who is in this chain of faith, expanding our hope, building our faith and filling us with gratitude for your constant presence in our lives. Beloved Heavenly Father, we approach you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence, recognizing the enormity of your love and the infinity of your mercy. We extend our hands in prayer, not only in our own name, but in intercession for all who participate in this channel daily, as well as for those who are arriving here for the first time. Lord, we ask that your blessing falls powerfully upon each person who connects to this virtual space in search of inspiration, spiritual comfort and teachings. May your divine light illuminate the paths of those who are already part of this community, and may, for new visitors, the experience here be marked by your loving and transformative presence. In your name, God of deliverance and salvation, we cry out for your divine intervention in each life represented on this channel. Grant your favor, O Lord, to those who dedicate themselves to seeking knowledge, comfort and spiritual growth here. May each message shared, each praise sung and each teaching given be an instrument of your grace, touching hearts and transforming lives. Lord Jesus, we ask for supernatural deliverance upon each person who participates in this channel. Free them from any adverse situation, be it spiritual, emotional, physical or financial. May your protective hand be over them, guarding them from all evil and directing them along the path of righteousness. In your infinite goodness, grant salvation to those who do not yet know your redeeming grace. May the message of the gospel resonate powerfully through the words shared here, touching hearts and leading souls to the knowledge of the truth that frees. Lord, we know that your blessing knows no bounds. Pour, therefore, your abundant grace upon the homes represented by each person who participates in this channel. May there be harmony, love and peace amid daily circumstances. It blesses families, guarding emotional ties and strengthening the bonds between parents, children and relatives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that your presence is tangible in every moment shared here. May the community formed on this channel be a reflection of your love, promoting mutual edification, compassion and spiritual support. Lord, we trust in your faithfulness and proclaim that in your name, every prayer is heard. May this be a sincere expression of our desire to see your glory manifested in the lives of those who seek your face. So be it, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. In the stunning epilogue of Psalm 30, we witness the triumphant conclusion of the psalmist's spiritual journey. The transformation that permeates this sacred poem is consolidated in the promise of eternal praise and incessant thanksgiving to the Lord, the God of mercy. The psalmist's personal experience, which wavered between the shadows of despair and the radiant light of divine restoration, resonates as a comforting echo for those seeking answers amid life's complexity. The psalmist's ultimate commitment to singing praises to the Lord perpetually reveals a deep understanding of the constant nature of divine love. The hymn of joy resonates like a celestial symphony that transcends temporal circumstances, a timeless melody that reverberates beyond the confines of space and time. By dressing in joy, the psalmist not only celebrates his own redemption, but also extends a warm invitation to all who share in the human journey, inviting them to experience the transformation and joy that emanate from the Divine Presence. 
The spiritual metamorphosis described in Psalm 30 is not just an isolated event, but a narrative that echoes throughout the lives of those who find refuge in the Most High. The symbolism of crying transformed into dance, of clothes of lament replaced by clothes of joy, transcends words and becomes a message of universal hope. In the midst of struggles and challenges, Psalm 30 resonates as a divine promise that with God's guidance and grace, even the darkest situations can be transformed into occasions of celebration and rejoicing. This Song of David is not just an individual expression of gratitude, it is an invitation to community, a call for all believers to come together in collective recognition of divine magnificence. The transcendental message of this psalm continues to echo in congregations, in silent solitudes and in hearts thirsty for spiritual consolation. The image of a heart that sings praises to God forever is a vision of constancy and fidelity, a promise that, even in the face of life's uncertainties, divine love is a safe anchorage. In closing this hymn of spiritual victory, Psalm 30 leaves a lasting impression that, Amid trials and triumphs, the relationship with the divine is a ceaseless cycle of renewal and grace. May each reader absorb the timeless lessons of this poetic masterpiece, finding inspiration to transform their own tears into dance and their sorrows into songs of joy. May, by embracing the profound message of Psalm 30, each soul may experience the divine promise of a renewed life filled with gratitude contributing to the eternal symphony of praise that resonates through the centuries.